Now, what I told you guys to do, I don't know if this was in the period of an aid, but it looks like um, two of these problems were in period of an aid. So basically, again, a couple things you need to remember about secant. Um, we know that secant, we know that cosine of x is equal to, uh, or sorry, cosine of theta is equal to 1 over x. So therefore, the secant, secant of theta is 1 over x. They are reciprocals of each other. And we're actually going to go over this further again today. So guys, all you need to do, again, is find the angle. Where does this angle occur? All right. Now, whenever I see an angle that is greater than 2 pi or greater than 360, I use what we call period as an aid. You don't have to do this. You can easily sketch it on your own. However, I believe this is a little bit easier to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite secant as negative 8 pi over 4 plus negative pi over 4. So what this is what we call using period as an aid. What this has done is I've taken a full period. Remember period like 2 pi, a whole unit of a circle. Do you guys agree with me that negative 8 pi over 4 and plus negative pi over 4 is the same thing as negative 9 pi over 4? Right? But remember coterminal angles? Going around a circle is just redundant, right? So I don't really need that. The secant of negative pi over 4 is coterminal with the secant of negative pi over 4. It's much easier for me to figure out what is the x and the y coordinates of negative pi over 4 than trying to do all these loops to graph 9 pi over 4. You can still do it that way, though. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you guys remember that one like homework quiz, you know, like doing all these circles, it gets confusing. So I would prefer to use period as an aid. So if I was going to graph, I know that here, like the last problem, is pi over 4. That's plus. So if we're doing negative pi over 4, it's going to go over here. So if the coordinate point is square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2, it's the exact same point, but just being reflected over the x-axis. So then which coordinate is going to be negative? My y coordinate. However, it doesn't really matter for this one because secant is what? x, right? So it got reflected. Yes, question? OK. Do you understand how I went from here to here? No. OK. So do you understand that neg this equals this? Yes. Well, this is just a circle. This is like going around the circle once. Negative 8 pi over 4 is the same thing as 2 pi. Well, when we did coterminal angles, going around a circle is redundant. So it's the same thing. So what I'm telling you is these are coterminal angles. Remember, coterminal angles have the same initial and terminal side, right? Negative 9 pi over 4, guys, looks like this. That's negative 9 pi over 4. All I'm saying is get rid of 2 pi. We don't need to go around the circle. You can just do negative 9 pi over 4 or negative pi over 4. So. I know that pi over 4, based on my unit circle, has the coordinate point square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. If I'm doing negative, that's just a reflection over the x-axis. So it's the same coordinate point, except y is negative. However, I'm trying to figure out what secant is. Secant is 1 over x. What is the x coordinate of this angle? Square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, it's equal to 1 over the square root of 2 over 2. Right. So when you rationalize the denominator, your final answer is the square root of 2.